Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, March 26th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest, newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Etero where you can follow our trades and even copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index and this basically is the last time the us dollar index will be available uh, for uh, this video it will be included in the uh, currency videos from now on which it basically also basically fits better with those currency pairs uh, and with that analysis but the winds of change uh, for the us dollar index so since april last year when we saw the top here at 100 and then three, we have basically been in a downtrend. But we found basically the bottom here at 89. And since then, we have gradually grinded towards the 200 moving average. And today, we have basically pre, uh, breached the 200 moving average. And we are trading well above the 200 moving average. Technical indicators for the US dollar are very bullish at this point. If you can get another candlestick, above the 200 moving average tomorrow and then it is very likely that the 200 moving average will start acting acting as uh, support instead of resistant and that could mean that we will see a major change in the us dollar in the next few months so us dollar has been depreciating while yields have also gone down in this period yields are now going up and the us dollar is also uh, appreciating so this will have major implications for commodities for stocks for indices and so on we may see that the rally that we have seen in for example commodities market and precious metal market that that has come to an end and we will most likely see um, decrease in value for most of those for those um, instruments so that is to be seen. This is a fairly varying sign as there's a negative correlation between the US dollar and uh, other indices and uh, commodities, precious metals, and so on. So we are going to go higher. If we manage to rally even further from here, then the target will be 95, which is the previous highs over here before we basically run into major resistance. So let's look at oil. So as you can see, um, oil is basically all over the place at this uh, current stage. So we man if you just take the long history here, we found um, uh, the major support at uh, thirty-three dollars, and since then we have basically rallied all the way up to sixty-seven dollars before we basically ran into resistance. At this current stage, we are basically falling apart in oil. It's it has tried to rally yesterday, broke down yet again today, and now it's starting to rally, but we're in underneath the 50 moving average. It may well be that we'll tumble from here, head towards 55, and then 50, and then all the way down to the 200 moving average here at the $46. So this move to the upside was not due to demand. There just is not that demand in the world economy at the current stage. This was pure speculation. First part was basically a vaccine. People thought we were going back to normal um, in no time because now we had vaccines. So we had this massive rally here. Then we had stimulus continue rallying. And then we basically had OPEC uh, uh, that pushed this even higher. And now we're seeing the collapse of this basically spe speculation. We are trading well be below the, we have been trading well below the 50 moving average. So it is, if the 50 moving average acts as uh, resistant now, then we can see this tumble. We'll most likely also have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 in the next few trading days, and that will see this go significantly lower. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas had a fairly surprising move towards the 20 exponential of more than 2%. We're trading still underneath the 20 exponential and 20 exponential has offered quite a lot of resistance in the past. We see it here, we see it here, and uh, again, around this area here, 
we're just getting crushed between the, the 200 and the 20 exponential. So at some point, these two will intercept and we'll have a move, a moment, move to the upside or a move to the downside. If we move towards the downside, then we could fall completely apart towards $2 and also all the way down here to 1.5. But at this current stage, 200 moving average is holding significantly. And usually when something, uh, when you cannot break through an area uh, like this or a moving average, you basically go the other way around. But that is to be seen. Taking the indicators, they are all becoming very bullish at this point. So we may have a run towards the upside before we go lower. We are in the period of year when this usually goes lower. We have these spikes in the winter months, and then you basically have a gradual decline the next few months until you get back to the winter months. But that is to be seen. 200 moving average is holding, so we could be bouncing off the 200 moving average to the upside. So but there's nothing confirmed with that yet. So let's look at copper. So copper has found uh, some kind of uh, support here at the bottom of the bullish band at the uh, 3.9. We also have the 50 moving average right underneath here. We're still trading underneath the 20 exponential. It is most likely going to go this way and then cross the 50. And if that is the case, then we'll head significantly lower towards a 3.5 us dollar appreciating is going to work against this and most other precious metals as well technical indicators are all very bearish at this point so it looks like we are going to see lower levels before we are going to see any higher highs at this current stage so let's look at gold so gold has tried to rally again at the 20 exponential and has failed and now it's trading at 1727. It just looks like we are running out of steam here and are heading slowly towards the bottom of the bullish band at roughly 1696. Technical indicators, they are all over the place. MACD is bullish, CCI is stoch and stochastic is uh, bearish, CCI is bearish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So rejection after rejection of the 20 exponential only means that we'll most likely head towards the downside so let's look at silver so silver has broken all the way down below the 200 moving average and then rallied so this is a impressive candlestick but uh, but to be fairly honest i think it looks like we are going to see that you know, 20 exponential cross the 200 moving average in the next uh, probably uh, week or in the next two weeks and that will basically cause this to go significantly lower all the way down to uh, 22.5 and probably 20 rallies from here uh, will most likely be sold into we can see that the 20 exponential has been holding significantly here and the rally up towards the 20 will most likely be sold into so we'll go back down taking in the gears they are slowly turning around but they are fairly bearish at this current stage so let's look at platinum. So platinum has tried to rally towards the 20 exponential and it has been rejected. Also here, most likely see a crossing of the 20 and the, and the 50 moving average will basically send this significantly lower. First of all, to 1100 and then to 1000. So technical indicators for platinum are looking at dreadful. So it looks like everything is basically just turning around and heading south at this current stage. So let's look at pallium. So pallium, yes, we saw this rally basically last uh, last week. And uh, since then, we broke towards the 2.5 uh, range and then we rallied. And now we're just going basically sideways. Usually what happens here is that you go sideways, the 20 exponential goes this way, and you will have an interaction between uh, crossing off the price and the 20 exponential, and you bounce to the upside. That is most likely what is going to occur here. Technical indicators are slowly uh, turning around, kind of. The MACD is turning around, CCI is flat, stochastic is flat, CCI is flat, and also the RSI is flat. So we're just moving this way, this direction, and we'll have the 20 exponential moving this way, and then we'll go higher. That's most likely what's going to happen here. So let's look at the aluminium. 
So aluminium has rallied yet again today. So this has been the most choppiest trading I've ever seen for, for basically the instrument. It's basically all over the place. Gap down, gap up, and so on. 20 exponential is holding really well. So getting close to the 20 um, is most likely the, the, probably the best way to trade this as, at this current stage to basically buy at the, at the 20 exponential. Break below the 20, opens the door to the 50. That is around uh, uh, 2096 uh, at this current stage. Technical indicators are slowly turning around. So stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat, while the MACD is still bullish. So let's look at nickel. So nickel is, uh, yet again, nothing's really happening here. So 20 exponential will move this way, 200 moving average will move this way, and price level will basically move into this corner. And then you will have a decision whether or not we break to the upside or break to the downside. Break to the downside could open the door to the 15,000, uh, 15, and break to the upside could open the door to the 50 moving average, which is at the 17,647 at this current stage. Technical indicators are either flat or bullish at this point point so let's look at sugar so sugar has basically fallen apart today yet again so we found yet again also support at 0 0.15 however if 0 0.15 breaks we can go all the way down to the 200 moving average at 0 0.1412 however there is expected to be a rally from here towards the 20 expansion before we go lower because we're significantly outside of the bullish band so we got way up ahead of ourselves today Technical indicators otherwise are very bearish, so pullbacks towards the 20, that will most likely be sold into, and the next target here will be the 200 moving average. So let's look at cotton. So also cotton, this looks like, like uh, absolutely dreadful candlestick here. So we basically completely fell apart in the cotton market today. We are... This is a very bearish candlestick, first of all. There's no pullback. So, but uh, we got also way ahead of ourselves because we're so outside of the bullish band, so significantly overstretched. So a rally, uh, rally from here towards the 20 exponential will most likely be sold into. Next target here is probably the 200 moving average. That is most likely where this is heading towards. So pullbacks towards the 20, give or take, that is most likely going to be sold into. We see that we have a crossing here at the 20 and the 50 moving average, which basically makes this go significantly lower. Technical indicators are dreadful for cotton, so yes, so watch out below. So let's look at cocoa. So cocoa has found uh, some support here at 2.4, and rallying about the 20, uh, 200 moving average, it was rejected. And we're still trading underneath the 200 moving average. This has basically been all over the place in the last uh, few months, uh, or yeah, few months, and it is fairly untradeable at this current stage. I just stay far, far away from Kokoa overall. So let's look at wheat. So wheat, very similar to cotton, sugar, and so on, also had a major fall today towards. 600 level and then the 200 moving average most of these same commodities pressure metals are heading towards the major support at the 200 moving average a break below that will basically see these markets go significantly lower and with these rallies that we have seen they will most likely come to an end so at this point we are significantly outside of the bullish band so we may see a rally towards that 20 exponential before before going lower Technical indicators are looking dreadful for wheat. So rallies towards the 20, that will most likely be sold into. Target here is the 600 and then 585. There is not a lot of room to basically uh, for bullishness here. We are in a significantly downtrend and have been for the last uh, four weeks. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button soon. Newest videos and you're welcome to join us over here at eTro. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.